Hello! Welcome to Adventures in TV Land. For today's adventure, I've come to Mount Washington Cemetery in Independence, Missouri to visit the grave of Jim Bridger. Now here are the gates into the Mount Washington Cemetery. But if you choose to come out here, keep in mind the gates are only open from 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. And there it is, Jim Bridger's grave. James Bridger was a famous mountaineer and I first learned of him through my parents because I was raised, we grew up, we watched a lot of Westerns, we watched, learned a lot of American history, and James Bridger was one of those characters that we just learned about growing up. There's the carving of him, Jim Bridger there at the top. And here is the inscription here at the bottom. The inscription reads, James Bridger, 1804 to 1881, celebrated as a hunter, trapper, fur trader, and guide, discovered Great Salt Lake, 1824, the South Pass, 1827, visited Yellowstone Lake and Geysers, 1830, Founded Fort Bridger, 1843. Opened overland route by Bridger's Pass to Great Salt Lake. Was guide for U.S. exploring expeditions. Albert Sidney Johnson's Army in 1857 and G.M. Dodge in U.P. surveys and Indian campaigns, 1856-66. This monument is erected as a tribute to his pioneer work by Major General G.M. Dodge. Now if by chance you are going to come out here to the cemetery, to Mount Washington Cemetery, to see Jim Bridger's grave, I have to let you know that the cemetery right now, and probably for the foreseeable future until enough funds are raised, is kind of split in two. Uh, and I will show you that in a minute here. So you will need to come to the, the side of the cemetery where his grave is actually on. I believe it is the, when I passed it by earlier, it is the smaller of the two entrances you will need to enter from, and you can come here and visit Jim Bridger's grave. Now there used to be a bridge right here that connected the one side of the cemetery. There's a ravine, a gully, that the bridge crossed right there. And I'll show you here in a minute, but the bridge was washed out in 2014. Got barbed wire around there to keep people out. And the sign tells about it on July 7, 2014, due to some uh, work that was done north of here, I believe. Um, uh, several projects. The flood water was diverted here and came down here to the cemetery and it flooded part of the cemetery and washed out the bridge. And the cemetery, they've been, you know, they did a bunch of studies, paid to have things done, but due to government regulations and things that like that, it has been just, the government decided that they could not rebuild a bridge right here. They'd have to build it at a different location here. And not only that, uh, you know, it'd have to withstand a hundred year storm, that's what they call it. So <clears throat> capable of lasting for about a hundred years, roughly. And right now, um, they do not have the funds to do that at all. So you can still visit the other side of the cemetery. You just have to come in from the other entrance. 
Well, this has been another adventure in TV land where we visited the grave, the final resting place and monument to the frontiersman, the mountain man, Jim Bridger. If you've liked this video, hit that like button. If you disliked, hit the dislike button. Subscribe to my channel for further content and ring that bell for email notifications. And if there's some place that you would like to see me visit or you have a suggestion about some future video you would like to see me do, leave a comment in the comment section. And if you've enjoyed this adventure or any of the adventures in TV land, you can help support this channel by going to either buy me a coffee or Patreon and making a financial donation there or becoming a member at either one of those two places. You could also hit the super thanks button below and help support the channel that way as well. Thank you for watching. Until next time, that's a wrap.